Amber with Limit Valley Couponing and I'm here with uh, Bacon on a Budget so this has kind of been a new little segment I want to do and I'm making a sugar-free New York style cheesecake. I only make a sugar-free cheesecake once a year and it's for uh, my brother-in-law Alan for his birthday. It's really simple and I'll take you guys through the steps and then in my description box, I will have a Google Docs that uh, with the recipe for the sugar-free and then also the recipe for just your standard uh, New York style cheesecake, which um, I'm making a spring form pan today since this is a gift and I'm sending it out. I have a, um, got went to the Dollar Tree and bought a like square cake pan for it. And so what? I'm using today and what you could use um, and you could get it actually for a good price is Splenda so right now there is a coupon from the smart source 310 um, for a buy one get one free Splenda natural and then also on I bought it right now a two dollar rebate back on it so you could actually get four dollars back on this buy one get one cheesecake uh could be expensive especially when you home make it because you gotta buy all that cheese uh cream cheese gotta get eggs or sugar vanilla um crackers or some type of cookie crumb that you want to use and so what's nice about the rebate apps is that things like fetch rewards has um gives you points for buying like philadelphia cream cheese so that's money back in your pocket and then, you know, sometimes if you're lucky, you could get a coupon for the cream cheese. Like right now, there's, um, I think it's Lannister, which we don't have it in my area. Um, cream cheese, there's coupons for that. And there's also a, I bought a rebate for it. The sugar, like I said, um, has a coupon and rebate. And if you're not using Splenda and you just want to use regular sugar, places like Walgreens always has um, sugar at least once a month on sale. I think it was last week they had the um, CNH sugar on sale for like $1.99. And then if you go to smartsource.com, always have um, sugar coupons on there that you could print in here. This cheesecake recipe is kind of, it's really easy. Not that many ingredients, but it takes sometimes because it's a, a long, um, slow baking process. And then it definitely needs to be chilled in a refrigerator for several hours before serving. So for our sugar-free cheesecake. I'm going to use a sugar-free um, shortbread cookie for my crust. Normally I use um, graham crackers so when I make a normal cheesecake I just use graham crackers but I can't find any sugar-free graham crackers and I learned that the um, sugar-free shortbreads uh, work perfect for the sugar-free cheesecake. So I need about three-fourths of a cup just so it fills the bottom and then a little bit up on the sides. Like I said, I'm making this as a gift, so I'm gonna give it away. Normally, you know, I would use a spring pan, but I'm actually halving my recipe. So first you need to crush up your graham crackers. I'm gonna use a food processor to do it. If you don't have a food processor, processor you could use a blender works or you could put your cookies or crackers in a Ziploc bag and then pound it out with a rolling pin or a frying pan, whatever you have, just as long as um, they are kind of finely crushed. So eight cookies um, from this package got me a cup of crushed cookies and I still have four left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the bottom of my pan and then I'm gonna melt butter and pour it in there and then like smash it down into the pan. Now the crust could be, it could vary um, kind of per person and what you prefer if you like more of a crust or not so much of a crust, if you like it only on the bottoms or if you want it going up the sides, you could add more crumbs use less crumbs. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and just kinda smash the crust down to the bottom. Kinda spread it up a little bit onto the sides of this. So the next step to this is making your 
filling to the cheesecake. So you want to make sure that you had your cream cheese at room temperature because if it's not at room temperature, it will kind of like ball up and it doesn't get smooth. Um, and it's kind of frustrating then you kind of get a lumpy cheesecake. So I'm going to use for this size of pan, I'm going to use one and a half bricks of cream cheese, so about 12 ounces. And I'm going to, <laughs> almost lost that. I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer just to blend it up. Um, you could also use like a handheld, but you need it to be pretty um, well beaten and smooth. So I'm gonna turn this on high and get it um, pretty well beaten before I add in my sugar and eggs. And I'll add in three eggs and a half cup of Splenda sugar, kind of gradually and slowly, and then I'll add in a half teaspoon of vanilla. All right, so now that we got our cheesecake batter all mixed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my spoon and just make sure that there's no lumps or anything and get everything off of the side. Um, if you do find a lump, see if you could use the back end of the spoon and kind of just smear it out, kind of smooth it out with the back end of the spoon. And then we're gonna pour it into our pan with the cookie crumbs already on it. shake it in there all right now we got it and we're gonna pop it in the oven at 300 degrees it is a long slow bake so put the cheesecake in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes um, depending you want your cheesecake kind of be kind of golden on top and when you shake it you want it to jiggle a little bit but not too much you want it like a firm a firm jiggle um, and the top of your cheesecake might crack and that's totally fine as well. So it's been about 48 minutes. I'm going to pull the cheesecake out of the oven. I'm going to let it sit for three minutes. And while it's sitting, I'm going to mix up, um, my, which is one and a half cup sour cream, one fourth cup of sugar and one half teaspoon of vanilla. When you pull your cheesecake out of the oven, raise the temperature to 350 degrees. So when you put it back in the oven, you want it to be at a higher temperature. So I'm going to mix together the sour cream, sugar, and vanilla. Okay, I gave that a quick mix. You can even do it by hand if you want to. You don't need to use a mixer um, for this. But when you're trying to do multiple things or whatever, it's kind of nice with the stand mixer that you can put your ingredients in and you know, able to walk away for a second. All right, the cheesecake has sat for a little bit and so I'm going to pour the mixture over the top. And just evenly spread it throughout. All right, I'm gonna add this back into the oven for about three to five minutes. Not that long. So I pulled my cheesecake out of the oven and I'm letting it sit and chill on the counter. And then once you're able to pick it up, put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for several hours. Um, I'm actually gonna cover mine up with lid because I, like I said, I am gonna be delivering this to my brother-in-law for his birthday. The recipe that I just showed you um, is half the size of what you would need to do for a full size or spring form pan. Um, because obviously I was making it for a smaller one. If you go to my description box and the um, links there all have to Google Docs. And so I have the sugar free um, one, which is to the size of pan but then on the new york cheesecake just your regular uh, new york style cheesecake recipe um, fits perfectly into a spring form pan and if you're wanting to do a larger sugar-free cake then just substitute the sugar um, for sugar-free so like things like splenda or whatever you want to do and then also instead of uh, graham crackers use like a sugar-free cookie so it's pretty simple um, and it's super delicious. It's awesome cake. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.